boy. By the end of this playthrough, I'm going to hit a gold amount that there's not going to be any way the game can recognize it. <laughs> what the fuck? Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming in with another episode of Fable 2. All right. And left off, we had a... Uh, we were not here. I decided that because I did the... Uh, stuff with the gargoyles and I unlocked a new one. I figured I might as well get the treasure and I figured I'd show that. And what we have is the potion of life. Nice. Fucking nice. The same sect of old kingdom alchemists who are said to have solved the secret of immortality also created the recipe for this life prolonging potion. If you have knowledge or the skill to brew it successfully now. And now we're just going to drink it, because fuck y'all. <laughs> now I have it. It's mine. Okay. Now that that's done. Let's turn that on to... Almost there. Just got three more to go, and then we get to that big old treasure chest over there, which I literally have no idea what it is. I've never done it. So, uh, here's hoping we find out together. Huh? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> I might have to cheatsy doodle. <laughs> Just a little bit of cheatsy doodling with Google. Which technically constitutes cheatsy doodling. Just to find out where I'm supposed to go for some of them. Because I've cleaned out a couple places. Other places not so much. But we've cleaned out a lot of other places. I hit that one in Bowerstone Market that was difficult as fuck to reach, which I thought I had to move the fucking carriage to be able to get to. Y'all remember that. So, whoa, okay, that was weird transition. <laughs> okay, I guess. Uh, we will go to this, but not now. What I wanted to do is go over here to Murgo to do that cursed whatever the fuck he wanted now. I like that the, uh, I like these sort of designs of docks where the stairs just kind of go down into the water. So it makes it easier to just walk into the water and then walk back out. Is that realistic? Probably not. But, you know, it's nice. That's about all I can say. Hey there, Margo. <laughs> For another five gold. Oh. The secret of fraudulent advertising for free. Secret of fraudulent advertising. Ah, the thing you, you have basically live off of. I haven't been able to procure the powerful conduit of all seeing clairvoyance, as I like to think of it, just yet. Okay. But my source has brought me a second curiosity, just as cursed as the first. Okay. Surely you can't resist such an attractive offer. Sure, why not? Because I could easily go for more loot out of there. Sure, let's buy it. Cursed skull. Mm, and it's gold. This is going to be some Indiana Jones type shit, isn't it? Well, it doesn't look like the cursed... Uh, <laughs> the alien skull from that one. The crystal skull movie. We all know the one that I'm talking about. Okay. Let's look at it. The hollow eyes stare at you blindly, and you can't help feeling a shiver of dread run up your spine. Oh my. You won't regret it, I hope. But just in case, remember to spend some gold on my other, less unusual items. Oh yeah? Are you, uh... I have only the rarest, most wondrous items in stock. Yeah, I already have these. And I don't need these. So, let's uh, use that skull. Huh? Eh? Uh, guess I gotta go to items for that, don't I? The cursed skull. It just, it looks rather pretty, I'll be honest, even though there's not a lot of detail to it because textures in this game are not great. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even have the teeth properly, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Brain is broken. I can't think of the word. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it Parting doesn't really look proper. Are you invisible to your boss? Properly sculpted. There's the word. Mates. 
100%. Then try my patented symbol pants. Symbol pants. What? <laughs> I was surprised that he was still going through his little, you know, spiel all through the loading screen. That was a little weird. Where the fuck am I? This looks like the place I left a while back. Also, the fuck? The fuck is this? No, you don't say, doggo. Psychophant. Psychophantic, rather. I didn't read the last part. Uh, to celebrate the record sales of yeah, but 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 bullshit. As this one shows, flattery may not always get you everywhere, but it is very likely to get a good get you a good sale. Uh, I can't talk anymore. I was about to burp halfway through that whole thing. Uh, my stomach did not want to cooperate. Doesn't help that I'm drinking soda. So I sense the presence of the living. Hear my plea, mortal one! Uh-huh. I was once a brave knight, cursed by a vile necromancer, to spend eternity in this terrible dimension. Uh-huh. Only the wisps who hide nearby can release me from this torment. Uh-huh. Bring them to me, that I may find peace at last. You want the wisps, the wisps to free your torment? All that is living. Hide that fear behind living. the visage of the dead, and you will gain their trust. Lead them to me, I implore you. So you want me to dress up as a dead person to then lead the wisps to you, who is in a coffin with a skull-shaped thing on it, though you claim you are an honorable knight who was cursed by a necromancer. Aha. Yeah, I'll buy that for a dollar. But I expect refunds. Okay. Let's just go do the thing. I guess I gotta go here. To get the visit? Maybe? Hollow Man suit. Okay. That's what I thought. There's a reason they call them Hollow Men. You can fight right in them. You can fit right in them, rather. Not fight. <laughs> fight them too, but... Okay, I guess... Oh! How about that? Is this just skeleton pajama pants that I'm wearing right now? Really? This is half Halloween costume. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> well, there goes the uh, money to the wife and kid... What the f <laughs> If they're fooled by this, then I don't trust anything involved in this fucking game. This well. bewitched statue shall open the way, if you can mimic it exactly. Oh. I guess this is the same thing as the graveyard. With their statues. And that should do it. Yep, this is the exact same thing as the statues in the graveyard. Okay. Well, now that that's done. Yeah, like they're going to believe I am a hollow man with a halo on top of my head. Are you? Okay. Alright. This seems like it was lazy. I'll be honest. Slightly lazy. Then again, I probably shouldn't have uh, been so quick along the line of uh, getting to good guy. <laughs> and I got that really quickly. Uh, loot. Hi there. A uh, musical instrument which brings joy to all around. Okay. Why do I have a loot? I don't know why I have a loot. That is... Not what I expected. What is this? The statue will only respond if you're wearing the correct costume. What? That's a Balverine costume? A what? Am I playing fucking dress up all this game? You will need to find the beast's costume before you can open the gate. Okay. Its pieces lie further along the path. Alright. But beware. 
the true monsters. Okay. So along this path. Alright, but I have to be aware of the true monsters. Which I presume, yep, are Balverines. Okay. Fuck you. Oh, this, ow. Fuck you. Fuck you. Okay. Oh, my headset's loud. Oh, jeez. There we go. Nice hit. I'd say that was great. Alright. <laughs> my controller clacks like a I swear. I try not to do it loudly, but it's sometimes unavoidable. Hi there. Murgo Slanderous model. <laughs> is that him flipping the bird? That's exactly what it is, isn't it? This one illustrates the posture one must take when dealing with competitors. One finger is all that's required. <laughs> yep, that sounds about right. What the f that's a hob costume. Are you kidding me? This is just a fucking elaborate dress-up game. Oh, come on. Lionhead. Come on. Who am I talking to? The dead guy. <laughs> Made myself slap. Alright. Um, I'm just gonna wander around and see if there's any stuff. Oh, hey. Papo found a dig spot. Wonder what's over here. Well, I found a loot, which was weird to find. I don't think that's just a regular item I could have. Discipline augment. I don't remember this. Your practical and studied approach to battle earns you more experience than usual during combat. That's actually pretty good to have in the back pocket. Should I get, like, a, you know, three augment weapon at some point? What the fuck? Poison Balvary. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That can't be good. Oh, I should stay away from it. I should stay away from it because it's most likely going to kill me really quick. Uh, whoop. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Whoop. Okay. Seems like a white Valvarine that's just poison. Hey! I did it. God, that was beautiful. They will knock them back. I find that hilarious. Come on. Dial it. Ow. Not expect that. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. Oops, okay. Come on, spells. Work when I ask you to. And... There we are. There's a couple bullets there. There we go. That was actually beautiful. I love it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh, ow. I <laughs> got knocked over. Okay, fuck you. Damn, I missed. I expected that to hit. There we go. Alright. Gotta make sure that I keep an eye out for the bad ones. Oh, that's poison. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Oh, run. Run, 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 run. Okay, I got that one. Come on. Aim for the one I'm shooting for. Jesus. Jesus. Keeping up with me. Every move that I made. That's not good. There we go. Ah. Got a treasure chest from that. I assume that's going to be the uh, suit I need. There we are. Go do that. Yep, Balverine suit. I figured. It's warm, it's imposing, and it allows you to live out your Balverine dreams without all the messy business of being infected or ongoing painful transmogrification. 
Okay, that, that is actually probably a weird fetish to have, but okay. At least in this universe, it's probably a weird one to have. Because, uh, they're actually pretty reviled in popular culture. Now, uh, real life werewolves have been kind of going through a renaissance, I guess you could call it that, if you wanted to. So this is more of a... Yeah, it's more of a this. And I'm extending it just because I feel like it. That's about it. Yep, that did it. That Remember, did it. the wisps fear living flesh. Uh -huh. In the guise of a corpse. <laughs> oh, so I have to go. Balverine Brown die. The name refers either to the color of a Balverine's pelt or to the results of seeing one in the flesh. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was a good one. So now they'll follow me. And now I can lead them to the thing. To the coffin. Or sarcophagus. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I think sarcophagus is probably a better term for it. I'm willing to bet this is all in the laboratories. Yes. Yes! I can feel the chains that hold me slipping away. Bring me more, I beg you! Uh-huh. Right. Yeah. Oh, I can get into that? Well, hey! Didn't expect that. I should have checked. I'll be checking every door. <laughs> Wisp white. Supposedly made out of the crushed wings of wisps. Though some disreputable dye makers have been known to use the crushed wings of pixies instead. The hell is that noise? Ah, I see. Alright. <laughs> crushed wings of pixies, eh? Alright, well. Whoa. Someone's having a problem. Okay. Let's check all the rest of these doors while I'm uh, moving around. Because uh, there's most likely another one that has some sort of treasure in it. Probably. I'm willing to bet. Uh, we've already searched the entirety of that one. Well, until we get the uh, hob costume. That one will be later. Okay, so. Switch to this. And this one's again the growl. It's fucking not gonna extend it. There we go. And then switch back to this. Yep, this is fucking a costume switching minigame. Motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. And there's the hops. Okay, well, go with these guys. Real quick. There we go. Wow. That was a quick. Shit. Alrighty, doggo. Lead me to the dig spot. Wherever it is. Okay, it's over here. That makes sense. This seems like a grave of some kind. What's in it? Burning orange. Okay. Decades ago, a dye maker may... <laughs> Rather, a dye maker in Bloodstone went mad, rode off into an ancient forest, and incinerated thousands of great oaks to smoldering embers. When they found him, unconscious and badly burned, he held in his right hand the head of the local bard, and in his left, this bottle of orange dye. Okay. <laughs> Why <laughs> did the rest of that happen? You failed to explain this to me. What the fuck? Oh, it's a little bunny burrow. Is this? Dingley Burrow. Is this the thing in that story? In that one little book we had a while ago? The Grumpy Rabbit. Grumpy George. door to the burrow is locked. Huh. 
Huh. Is there a large basket nearby? There is. Ah, uh, um. Well, if I find an egg, I'll have to come back now, won't I? It's another thing I've never seen before, so I gotta, I gotta do this. Alrighty. There we go. Bust that through. What the hell? Oh, that's a globe. Okay, that makes sense. Oh boy. Jeez. I didn't realize they had sappers. What the fuck? Okay. Next one. Burn. Come on. Die already. Well, there goes that one. Landed up right. It was nothing. There we go. Oh, there's a couple more. The last question you relate lies within that chest. You will have to become the most brutish of all creatures. Uh huh. Can you do this? I'm sure I can. Real question is, do I want to? My dog just phased through this fucking rock. What the fuck? Was I supposed to make that exploding guy go over there? Or was there another thing that I can use to blow that up? Oh. Huh. Well, here's the, uh, the thing. Here's the hob suit. There we are. Wearing this should give you some insight into the life of these nasty, brutish, and short creatures. Yeah, about that. Um, can I go into this? Go over there. Could I please? Yeah, please. Ah, I didn't want to fall there. I wanted to get over there. Man. Ah, damn it. I just want to get to that treasure chest. How's that so hard? Alright. I'll figure out a way. I'm sure of it. Maybe... Here? Ah, there we go. I got it. And what do we get? Night blue dye. Most closely resembles the color of a still ocean shore on a moonless night. While evil ducks roast chestnuts over a nearby campfire. Why was that part added in? <laughs> Someone at Lionhead got terrorized by ducks. I can tell... That's what happened there. That's for sure. I want to get to that thing. I want to get to that thing. What are you barking at? What are you barking at, doggo? Where are you at? Okay. You must be up here. Alright. What are you barking at, then? Oh, you're barking at that. So, how do I get to that? Is the question that I don't have an answer to right now. Um, is it like... I don't know. <laughs> ah, there we go. I just had to mash the button until it would let me. Ha ha ha! Murgo Optimistic Model. And, uh... Da -da -da, all the way down. This model demonstrates the demonstrates the correct response to the habitual question. And it really works. Do not drop your thumb until it is followed by, Wow, I'll take three. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you mean, dig spot? Dig spot where? Where's the dig spot, boy? Where's the dig spot, doggo? <laughs> Down here? What? What <laughs> the fuck did I just do? Okay. I guess it's over here. Man, we are finding a lot of shit. Yeah. And? 
Oh. High in protein, low in morality. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to sell that as soon as possible. I don't want to eat a crunchy chick. That's rude. Okay, so. Oh. So this is what I was supposed to do. The statue held a little ghost thing that would blow himself up. Okay. That's cool. All right. That is awesome. <laughs> so, now I have basically everything I need to solve this... Uh, curse, for lack of a better phrase. And now that I think about it, the costume party kind of alludes to the fact that we have a bunch of fucking costumes. I don't know why I didn't think of that. <laughs> I'm a putz. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one Yone Stray Cat playing games and gathering costumes to then gather loot to then figure out the curse of this fucking skull for you.